to you i hope you are doing well so as you know that on our channel we are covering the slabs of ups civil services and for that purpose we have started multiple series on our channel that target your problems as well as mains so currently friends we have 12 series that focus on your problems and one series that target your mains so what we do in this problems oriented series we have divided your whole slabs into 12 large sub topics and what we do we daily cover your two sub topics and in this manner we cover your 12 sub topics in 6 uh, 6 days so this process goes on and on in a cyclic manner and we will end this series on 31st may so why the date chosen has been 31st may because on 2nd june is your prelims of upsc csc 2019 and we will end this series only one day before your prelims exam so let's start our discussion so today is lecture number 18 of medieval india so let's see what are the questions of, of today today's lecture first question is consider the following with ref reference to views of french traveler bernier about india first he wrote that sanskrit was closest to european languages and sponsored several works of inter translation of texts second he denounced the system of crown ownership of land third he was associated with the mughal court as an economic and social advisor so we have to choose the correct statement and let me tell you friends that only one statement is correct and that is second so the answer would be c so here is the explanation uh, the solution is c so first uh, first thing was not the view of bernier rather it was the view of alberuni so he wrote uh, several sanskrit uh, 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 he wrote that sanskrit was closest to european languages as well as sponsored the inter translation of texts so uh, it was uh, it, it it was uh, with in with reference to alberuni and not uh, bernier who was fran french tra traveler but yes second statement is associated with bernier he denounced the crown ownership of land and he said that uh, land was owned by the crown and uh, and it was subdivided uh, into uh, by into the into multiple parts that that were given to nobles who gave them to, uh, gave it to the land uh, 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 the the cultivators so the main uh, hindrance that uh, he uh, he found in this system was that uh, there was no motivation for the cultivator to invest in the land because uh, it, it uh, according to him uh, the land uh, it was not uh, necessary that the land would be passed from uh, from a parent to the child so that's why he denounced the crown ownership of land because it hindered the investment but uh, third statement is also incorrect why it is incorrect because uh, mughal uh, he was not uh, uh, he was though associated with mughal court but not as an economic and social advisor rather he was a, uh, he was a uh, doctor and uh, he he ex uh, he was kind of uh, uh, expert in in physiological studies so the solution is c that is second only so here is the explanation as i have already told you so there is not much about it now he was a doctor political philosopher and and also was a historian and he was a physician to prince dara sikho the eldest son of emperor shah jahan and also he later worked uh, as intellectual and scientist with danishman khan an armenian noble at the mughal court so he traveled to several parts of the country he also found that uh, bengal was pro as pro prosperous as egypt and found it a major exporter of many agricultural commodities so this is your uh, first uh, uh, question let's move on to the second question the second question is the dashala system of 16th century is most closely associated with a land revenue system b criminal justice system c military organization the construction of traveler sarays or guest houses so friends the answer is a that is land revenue system so dashala system was basically it was a kind of land revenue system and uh, in it uh, the 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 uh, average of uh, past 10 years of production was fixed as the land revenue and uh, this was known as dashala system and answer is a so let's move on to the next question next question is consider the following about ibn batuta's account of india first the highways were safe from robbery and other crimes second coconut fiber found in india was so strong that it was used for making ropes which pulled ships third indian textiles such as fine muslins were in great demand in asian markets fourth horses and human runners were often used to dispatch goods requir required at short uh, notice so here we have to choose that which of the above statements is correct uh, about the ibn batuta's account of india let me tell you friend that he doesn't find the uh, he uh, he did not find the uh, highways safe from robbery so rather he said that uh, the highways were not safe from robbery 
so first is incorrect but yes second is correct uh, he he said that coconut was so strong that it was used for making ropes and he also wrote about the fine muslins which were in great demand in asian markets and also he he said that uh, uh, for the short notice uh, uh, the, the goods that were required at short notice horses and human runners were used so the answer would be b second third and fourth only so the solution is b let's move on to the next question next question is consider the following with references to the with reference to the forest society and tribes in mughal period first forest tribes often supplied elephants to the state as a tribute second forest provided uh, gum lac which was the major export item uh, overseas from india third the state banned private commercial agricul uh, agriculture in forest regions to preserve their pristine ecology so we have to choose the correct statement and uh, let me tell you friends that here the correct statement put is uh, uh, is is uh, wait for a minute it is forest tribes yes so forest tribes often supplied uh, elephants to the state as a tribute and also second is correct uh, it provided gum like that which was a major export item overseas from india so first two uh, statements are correct but the third third statement is not correct so the answer would be a that is one and two only so the solution is a let's move on to the next question next question is so sufi silsilas became a major tradition in medieval india the term silsila imp implies a a family of guest houses for spiritual debates um, b a spiritual genealogy linking the master to the disciples a method c a method of chanting leading to communion with god d a distinct way of sufi poetry that later developed as a mature classical style and let me tell you friends that the here the answer is uh, b that is a spiritual genealogy linking the master to the disciple so there were different uh, silsilas that were prevalent that were prevalent in medieval india and uh, this uh, this uh, thing uh, this uh, and and there were different disciples also uh, associated with the particular sense uh, like uh, your uh, uh, there was one uh, one um, chishti silsila uh, there were uh, there were other others also so solution is b let's move on to the next question next is consider the following matches of important officials in the mughal empire and their responsibilities first fotedar treasurer second diwan e rasalat army commander third karkoons engineering structures fourth diwan e insha minister of communications so we have to choose the correct statement and let me tell you friends that the answer is a that is one and four only so fotedar was a basically treasurer and diwan e insha was minister for communications so this is your a uh, uh, answer is a let's move on to the next question next is consider the following statements with reference to developments in medieval india first a personal astronomical observatory was built by himayu on the banks of yamuna river second metal cylinder rockets were often used in wars waged by some of the mughal rulers third shampoo ba shampoo bath techniques and related chemicals were introduced in mughal india from europe so friends here the answer is uh, first and second only statements are correct so first person astronomical observatory was built by himayu because he was uh, quite interested in the astronomy and also metal cylinder rockets were often used in wars that were waged by some of the mughal rulers so the answer is a that is one and two only so the solution is a let's move on to the next question next question is consider the following about rural institutions in medieval india first the village panchayats represented only the most dominant caste in the village second the village headman was to be compulsorily nominated by the subedar who headed the paragnas so here we have to choose the correct answer and uh, third statement is also there third is the panchayat could drive its funds from contributions made by community residents to a common financial pool so we have to choose the correct statement and let me tell you friends that only one statement is correct and that is third that the panchayats could drive its funds from uh, contributions made by community residents to a common financial pool so panchayats were there but uh, but they they were they the uh, the main source of uh, their resources was the uh, was the was kind of a contribution by different community residents to com uh, common financial pool so answer is third only that is b so let's move on to the next question next question is consider the following about vijayanagara empire first chinese uh, porcelains were banned within the empire by the rulers second arrangements were made to store rain water and conduct it to the city third fortifications around the en empire and closed agricultural tracts so we have to choose the correct statement and let me tell you friend that th uh, this chinese porcelains were not banned for any reason within the, within the empire by the rulers so the answer is second and uh, third only so the answer is b 
so arrangements were there to store rain water and conduct it to the city so proper drainage water system was there so the answer is b let's move on to the last question of the day uh, consider the following about alvars and nianas first they found the caste system valid and based on practical lines second women devotees were not allowed within the sangha let me tell you friends that both of these statements are wrong in fact they rejected the caste system and in fact there were some women uh, alvars also so answer uh, here is none that is d is none so this is all about friends today's lecture if you like the video like the questions then do hit a like also ensure that you share it with your friends and lastly friends if you want the explanation of all questions you can email us at this email id that is gyes21 at the gmail.com or you can also contact us at our uh, whatsapp number that is 89684026481 so this is a contact number so in case you want the explanation pdfs you can contact us so certainly there will be a minimum cost uh, associated with it but it has been kept as minimum as possible for the purpose of your affordability as well as for the purpose of your motivation uh, our motivation so in case you want to subscribe then you can contact us and lastly friends do ensure that you subscribe to our channel and, our, and, uh, and also um do not forget to press the bell icon because then only you will get all the important notifications about the updates that we do on our channel so thank you friends have a very nice day